Third like cards compiled from various old sources. <coughs> For generations the knowledge of the collection has been passed down to tellers to be used to tell fortunes, give blessings, cast spells and most importantly to fight the dark evils that inhabit the haunted brambles. This morning two local children have gotten trapped by the dark evils in the brambles and it is up to you to save them. Mm -hmm. Masks and Monsters expansion. Um, the well, you include them uh, or you include the masks. Um, I never bothered. Uh, game setup. At all the cards of the collection are shuffled, <coughs> and the deck is now placed uh, down in next to you. Okay. So let's do that. In front of me, something like this. Uh, six cards are dealt face up and arranged to surround the Bramble deck. Oh, uh, Twenty. Bramble Evil Hex cards are shuffled and placed face down. So the children are inside of the Bramble deck. They are not a card specifically, but uh, well, you can't see them because they are buried. And you lay down the six cards. Six cards like. So, and probably face up. Now, the relative positioning of these uh, surrounding cards does not matter, like so. Uh, I think uh, there are no cards that reference it. The defeat panel is to the next, and you have uh, all the cards of the collection are shuffled in the deckers place in front of you. The brambles are shuffled, six cards. The hex cards, I think, are dealt face up and around you know, to surround. Uh, allow a space for a hand of six cards to be laid face up on the table and an additional space near the, for the flux. Okay, so um, it's nice to have a small deck, a small box, but actually. You need more space, so like uh, so, and what else? Uh, okay, so you need space for six cards. Near the collection, leave room for the discard pile, and near the blend ball, lay out, leave room for the feed pile. To release the children, you must play different card combinations with enough spiritual power to defeat the 20 Bramble Evils. If you fail to defeat the evils uh, before the collection runs out, that's your deck of cards, the children are lost to the Brambles forever, and probably uh, you'll be chased out of the village. Draw a six hand, uh, card hand from the collection. Each turn you will Either play three cards or six cards in combinations to defeat one or more of the six face-up cards at in the Bramble layout. At the end of the turn, the cards played are play, placed face down onto a discard pile, and any defeated Bramble cards are placed face down into the defeat pile. One card from the Bramble deck is then turned face up and replaces the defeated card. So that's uh, like like something like this. Um, and then draw enough until you have six. Um, the Brimble Evils uh, represent uh, angry spirits. And then you want to find a three in a suited row, a triplet, or a three in a, any, in a row, or three of a suit, or a couplet plus plus one. Uh, there is also these uh, Flex Convergence cards. So if you cannot uh, then there's 
so our, uh, all our cards are 11 to 14 and then it gains one rank and strength so um, to defeat a rank 5 you need 3 in a sort of draw <coughs> but if you use uh, 11 to 14 uh, you can use uh, any 3 cards with the same number for a triplet and that counts as a, a rank 5 and there are other combinations, um, six card combinations instead of the three card combinations. Um, da -da -da -da. Yeah, I played this once and barely won. Um, I have all six cards in the combination, oh no cards. Uh, again, oh no, that's not an increase, but then you defeat an extra Bramble card. So this defeats any two Bremel cards of your choice. Um, so the six card combinations are very uh, useful for the higher level uh, cards uh, in the Brambles. Uh, the Flux Convergence card represents the gateways <coughs> between different spiritual realms. When a Flux Convergence card is drawn, immediately place it in the Flux Convergence area. Then um, there is the Cedar of Visions, that's the card I showed. Um, if you have the, uh, the seer, drawn the Seer of Visions, um, you can place it on the discard pile and either influence the future or reclaim the past. And Sacred Cheers represent the power to cut the brambles down. And there is also black curse cards, but you can resolve it. Even before all of the cards. <coughs> A way to get rid of the black uh, cards is two cards of the same number or any th three card combo. Or a second shares cards. And that's all. There is a challenge level for an easier game start. A game with one or more flux convergence cards in the flux area. Okay, so I start with the three in my flux convergence area. Like here. Doesn't really matter much. And well, for the increase in difficulty, you remove them and put them in the game. Normal normal version is put it in the game uh, deck. And easier is to lay them out already, and to remove them from the game is to make it uh, level harder, harder still or hardest. And the Masks and Monsters expansion, uh, the Masks are wild cards, and the interaction with monster cards and using without monster cards. So you can also use the monster cards, and the monster cards uh, take place of any cards. Yeah, you make the, they increase the rank of the standard Bramble Evil cards by either one or so if you have a level 5 it becomes level 7 and there are no rules <laughs> for level 7 um, generally the monster cards are something to stay combined until they both are defeated by a combination it's kind of okay so you um, you put them uh, when you draw a monster card uh, you put it on a uh, hex uh, existing hex, I think. Once a monster card is added on top of a Bramble's Evil's card, the two stay combined until they both are defeated. Um, yes, but to draw one card, um, you have to remove from one first, and if it is a monster, you have to draw again, I think. That's not really explained in the rules. Anyway. 
so it sounds nice, but um, the problem is this: uh, you there. <laughs> the way to go for certain combinations is just too random. Um, two, three, four, five, six. So I draw now by the look of the draw. <laughs> all green cards and then let's see what this means clergy nobility the same color but then ascending so even even when you have all green cards the 10 and 11 is ascending Uh, any three is for the merchants, the same color. So eleven, seven, and two, for example. So if I take this, then I can defeat a level two card by discarding this and this. So I draw a new one. It's a level three. Now for level 3 I need at least clergy, so that's identical cards. I think I draw it. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And this one. 6, 7, 8. So 10, 11 and 12. Can I play the 10 for nobility? I think I can because they are different cards. So 10, 11, 12. Defeat a level 3 Bramble. So, for example, this one. And I draw a new one. As you can see, this is pretty easy because I didn't really shuffle. But imagine if you shuffle, um, you get all kinds of uh, stupid combinations <coughs> that never work. <coughs> and that's something that I really dislike. Um, there's no control.